have done is beyond words. You fought like a Mandalorian. When you are finished here, I will take you back to the camp. You can let the rest of your squad know what you've discovered. After you left, your squad... Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is, a salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you, they won't know what hit them. The Basilisk War Droid is the epitome of weapon technology, state-of-the-art weaponry, armor, and maneuverability. Unfortunately, its weapon systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. Minor systems. Nothing you need concern yourself with. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. Basilisk? A basilisk here? Mandalorians are attacking the city! Talia has made an alliance with the Mandalorians. Men, destroy them.
I hear you. Recognize you, you're that off-worlder. Come, we have no time. Backloose forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith. But those beasts, those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint but growing stronger. I think my message was received. Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. This way! This way to the sky ramp! There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaclu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. That means they control the checkpoints now. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the front of the battle line. Royalists in the bunker are contained. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here? Men, attack!
Don't hear you. Hold your fire! They're with us. Thank you. Vaklu's supporters stormed our position. The beasts... The beasts have gone mad and attack on their command. Please, go to the palace. We received a transmission that the palace grounds have been breached. If so, they don't have much time. Have they changed the access codes in the turret tower? We need to get through the force shields. I don't think they've had time, sir. They've been firing the turret non-stop. Vaklu's close to having air superiority now. You two, follow the Jedi. The rest of us will hold our position. We don't have much time. I knew that General Vaklu would not stay allied with the Sith. I'm glad that we have three of them. Is the Jedi still- We're under attack, man!
taken the palace, how much longer must I wait? The beast's progress is remarkable, but it will take time, General. The throne room's force shields are far stronger than normal shields. Our plans go well, though, but we are still vulnerable. Until she is dead, even now we can all unravel. Redouble your efforts. There is disturbing news from the city. As you command, General. Tail Command, we need reinforcements. A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank. Hold the line! Attack, men. Attack! Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. She's still alive! Run! Run! Cowards will be dealt with. Ahead is the throne room. We must get to the Queen to protect her. If you're heading to the palace, we'll follow you there. The palace itself has been breached. We've made it to the palace. General Vaklo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the throne room. 
Vaclu's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm gonna stay here and keep the intersection secure. If any more Royalists arrive, I'll keep them organized. Shut the outer door, now! I'm impressed you made it this far, but you are too late. Soon the Queen will be dead, and General Vaclu will be the new King. This is no ordinary door between us. The same material is used for the hull of Capital-class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. I'm afraid it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Gather our forces. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. Take your beasts and attack her. We need more time to prepare. I'm going to the control room. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate. came from Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the rightful ruler of Onderon. Oh. 
I don't have time for your resistance, Captain Riken. We need the override code for the palace shields. And I told you that I don't know. You scan my ID, you know my post is the merchant quarter. I'm sure that's what you'd like me to believe. I have been authorized to use any means at my... Do not Blast! Defend the security room with your lives! The Jedi could ruin everything. Salì a listo park norcia, plus ni hacia batisce giù. Cavo dunque a botegna, daci morotaccia a camsa. Bawan maderancia, you come most cruun. Nande mi so cu curan marenden crabanozot. Bram tabanin socio. Da come giù smak mi chi baragneto so so ricca ciondin. Wana magrable mogo. Cavadumpa, mo wendido ciò che remi norta cunion wish ciao cacciuba, sura daci moro tuco ganza. Yatuka, u wan rica ciò tin wanima orata wakata ci lumali. Bram tabanin socio. Da come giù smak mi chi baragneto so so rica ciondin. Wana magrable mogo. Cavadumba, mo wendido ciò che remi norta cunion wish ciao cacciuba. Sura daci moro tuco ganza. Cavadumba, mo wendido ciò che remi norta cunion wish ciao cacciuba. Sura daci moro tuco ganza. Cavanata gallo! Cavanami donkey grato. Yatuka, u wan rica ciò tin wanima orata wakata ci luma lispa. Cavadumpa, mo wendido ciò che remi norta cunion wish ciao a cacciuba. Sura daci moro tuco ca... Bram tabanin socio. Da come giù smak mi chi baragneto so so ricca ciondin? Wana magrable mogo. Yatuka, u wan ricca ciotin wanima orata wakata ci luma lispa. You again? Seems you've made a habit out of cleaning up our messes. Don't suppose you could help a fellow out here. If you ever been in one of these, you know they aren't too comfortable. 
You don't need to tell me about that. Thanks for coming. Backloo's troops aren't very good hosts. If you could get me out of here, I'd be doubly thankful. Should be pretty easy to do. The primary security console for the Royal Palace is just over there. It controls the force cage. I think that slicer is still logged in. So you should have full access to everything. If you could hurry, it's been a long day. Thank you. Now that you've got me out, you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once you've got that code, if you can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. The slicer's still logged into his account. You should be able to just... Security terminal taken care of, I take it? With you on our side, I think we may have a chance in this war after all. Let's head to the throne room right away.
Tell the Colonel we'll need more of our men to smoke the Royalists out of their hole. I don't trust those Sith or oh, their beasts. And another thing. If I catch any more of my men looting, then the Queen's Guard will be the least of your worries. I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. We got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Kadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Kadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. Even if there wasn't a civil war going on, I can only say so much. We'll talk later. Now, every moment counts. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the Force be with you. So, you're the Jedi, eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. You fought right through their flank on the sky ramp? We desperately need someone like you. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here, then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again, and can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. You have? Oh, son of a mudrack! Corporal, use this code to open the outer door to the throne room. The door's open. Hurry! 
They might break through the inner door at any moment. Just say the word. What is it? I hear you. Will you just die already? You will go no further than this. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. The queen will be dead in moments. Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! Ignore the beast. Into the throne room. The queen must die. Don't oh, blast it all.
Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Batlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny. One larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! What? The Jedi lives? But how? Kill her and the Queen Men. Quickly. They must not be allowed to live. an easy one. The Republic is a stinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. You're a fool. Your companion is right. Fine. Send me to your best detention cell. I will be free within the week. And vengeance will be mine. Aren't you forgetting who is Queen Vaklu? I appreciate the Jedi's counsel, but as monarch, I decree you are guilty of treason. The punishment is death, to be carried out immediately. Captain Cadron? Talia, you can't. You're... but you're... you're too weak. What about my trial? But he will rise again. He has too many supporters. I do appreciate your counsel, but he must be killed. But the price if you are wrong. I thought I could order this, but I can't. It would be breaking our laws. You will stand trial, Vaklu. Take him away. What is done is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. A mortal one. It has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. There is a shred of life within you still. A gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. 
The Queen has requested to talk with Master Com The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. I told the other Masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Baruch didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine if only to help the settlers there and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. Whatever the reason, having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back and you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. They were places touched by war, and we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds, if only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Telos. But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed, along with the Miralukas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great. That we should use our resources to find who was responsible and deal with them. I think you're the only one who's made progress. The difficulties you surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I had thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. The Jedi Order has been fighting the dark side since the beginning. Our rules and the Jedi Code provide protection from what's inside each of us. The dark side is always there, and it is something that can never truly be defeated. I feel our current troubles, though, are beyond what we faced before. This threat that is targeting us, drawing us out, it's not a battle we're used to, and it has ended many of us. Not enough. I feel it is something that was born from the wars that have struck the Republic. The threat is Sith, but the manner and timing of their attacks is difficult to defend against. We don't know all that the Sith planned during the Jedi Civil War. What secret training grounds may still remain. What worlds he discovered. We just don't know. Even after we deal with this current threat, I fear we may be dealing with the legacy of the Jedi Civil War for years to come. You've had more success than I. General Vaklu's men and their allies effectively kept me pinned inside the palace. I felt all along that Vaklu had contacted the Sith. But the identity and purpose of the Sith, uh, I can't say. They wanted to aid General Vaklu in breaking away from the Republic. If Onderon became independent, this place would be an excellent staging ground for them. But I fear it was more than that. That the consequences of Onderon's fall would have greater implications for the galaxy. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Scattered, searching for you. Going to places where they thought they might cross your path. You were our last hope. Yes. At least, that's what I asked them to do. I believe you are the key to this whole war. When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We had suspicions as to why this was, but nothing definite. But rather than try to understand, we sent you away. I think because at some level, there was fear. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, 
and they flow deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it is leaving something in its wake, something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of the Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes, like the one we felt from you in the council chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you, but we couldn't call you back from exile because we didn't know where you'd gone. Plus, there was a chance we might put you in danger, and that we couldn't allow. If you couldn't feel the Force, then it would just make you a target. I don't know how you got back, but I'm glad you're here. The thing is, in traveling to these places, these places where war was fought, we felt the same thing. Echoes. Something happened in all these places, but it's hard to figure out what. It's hard to sense things through the Force in such places. Too much pain occurred here. It makes listening to the Force difficult. We resolved to meet again on Dantooine, but only when the threat revealed itself. Unfortunately, I happened to be here when it struck. Now that we've stabilized Onderon, I can join the others on Dantooine. Whatever I can tell you, I will. There was nothing else we could do. You defied the Council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. But you must understand, the Exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you've served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the rim, and why you traveled with no one and did not stay in any place too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force is always the gift it is believed to be. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Cut you off from the Force? Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? No, I'm afraid the cause of your condition was as great a mystery to the Council as it is to you. Whatever I can tell you, I will. You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. When I first sparred with you during your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. Whatever I can tell you, I will. That sounds like the bond that often forms between Master and Apprentice. But to that degree? You always did form connections to others, strong ones. Even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. I'm sure others in the Jedi Council would be able to assist you. If you could find them. Whatever I can tell you. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. Many of the lightsaber forms you've already learned will bolster your abilities in one area, while leaving you vulnerable in others. For superior balance, use the Niemann form. This form has no specific strengths, but no weaknesses either. It will provide a decent defense versus enemy force powers and blaster fire. Excellent! I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. These relics are from the Royal Museum. Generations ago, some members of the Royal Family had a connection to the Force. They weren't... 
all too different from what we face today. I know little of the Force, but I hope you can put my family's relics to good use. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle. It's good to see you've returned safely. What happened on Ondoro? I hope that Ondoron's new unity of leadership will ensure their continued cooperation with the Republic. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. Got a minute? I'm a little busy here. What is it? Won't take more than a minute. All right, I'll work. While you talk. Look, your friend, the Jedi? You know her from way back, don't you? How much do you know about her, really? Her? You mean the General? Yeah, during the war, if that's what you mean by way back. Can't say I know too much about her, though. Better than anyone else on this ship. Just give me your opinion, okay? And don't laugh. I'm trying to work here, Atten. I was just wondering if you thought maybe she and I might... You're being serious. You said you wouldn't laugh. You are being serious. Atten, she was a general. I was just a tech. Your guess is about as good as mine. Well, what's your guess then? I'm getting back to work. Hey! I'm being serious here. You're laughing at me? I'll put you on the scrap heap, you walking tin can. It might be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. That would be a welcome improvement. My combat effectiveness could be better sustained, providing an advantageous arrangement. And my miniature counterpart would finally be able to pull his weight in a fight. Right then, I'll work on it when we get back to the Hawk. There, you should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. Iridonian, if I might have a moment. What is it, Goto? I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. 
What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things, to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however slight, in the upgrading of machines. I want you to provide me with similar upgrades. I should be able to do something. I will see what I can do next time I have a free moment. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malachor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me.